So the first question we have to answer is, how do we define the relevancy? So this is very subjective, and uh, every people have very different opinions, and that's the, where the com personalization comes in. So the major approach we take is to use the user feedback on the story to approximate the relevancy to the user. So for example, a user can take all the actions, a like, and share, a love, and a comment on the story. So those are really, really strong signals indicating people want to see the content, they enjoy the content. While other actions people can take on a story is like you can hide the story, you don't want to see the content. So this is a really strong negative signal to indicate that people don't want to see the content. With all the historical data we have, basically we can learn a ML model to predict uh, for a new story, how likely users are going to take all those actions on those story, a positive ones or versus a negative one. So here is one example with our prediction model. So with this particular story and the user pair, we, build a pred we predict all the probabilities. For example, there's an 11% chance people will click, user A will click on the story, and a 2.2% chance user A will like the story, and also around 0.1% of chance people will hide the story. So we weighted the, same, the score together and get the final, final ranking score. For this example, the ranking score is 0.2277. So for user A, when he loads news feed, and we basically rank all those content and the regular content based on the total score here. One important note here is all the probability columns, these are calculated with machine learning models, and this has the ground truth and they're very personalized. While the value column is uh, more of like suggestion and based on the user study and the product decision we make. So for example, on Facebook, and the value for user is more on the interaction with people. So the like and the comments are more meaningful to user than just clicking on the story. The weights of a like or comment is much higher here. The weights and the probability here is just an example to demonstrate the points here. So here are the more detail on the prediction model. For ML model, the feature and the labels are the most important two parts. So when we have the feature joiner system to generate a lot of training data for us to train the model. So when they use uh, load the news feed and uh, we do the aggregate does the ranking and the return story back to the mobile. At the same time, the feature will be logged to the feature joiner. And uh, the same with the user's feedback event, like a like or comment, they also be sent to the feature joiner. Then the joiner basically generates a training data with the feature and also it's a label. The, those data will be fed into our model training service and the model will pick up the weights and the reach in the model and updates the weights to the, our system and the aggregator we pick up. For our model, we have a huge model and uh, typically the training example size around billions of examples.